Local politics can be a dangerous business in Mexico. Just ask Carlos Brito, a 30-year-old political hopeful who wants to become mayor of the town of Jojutla in the state of Morelos. Brito is new to the political scene, but he knows that the risk of harassment, extortion, and even death at the hands of organized crime is very real. I would be lying if I said I wasn't afraid. It would also be a lie to say that fear is not in the back of my mind. But today we're motivated by our goal to make Jojutla a better place. At least six Mexican politicians have been killed in recent weeks. This includes Adolfo Serna Nogueda, the mayor of a small town in the state of Guerrero, who was murdered on New Year's Eve. With the national election drawing near, political leaders in Mexico, like Ángel Ávila Romero, worry over these types of attacks against public servants. I think this is a warning by organized crime against the political parties. The problem here is impunity and the phenomenon of political violence. The murders will continue because there is no punishment. Experts say that the rising level of violence in Mexico is not only putting the lives of political candidates at risk, but could also be frightening voters, which could damage the democratic process. Less political participation, less turnout because of fear, less political, you know, less people voting, uh, and all of that again is hinders the strength of a democratic system. There are over 3,400 elected positions up for grabs in the upcoming elections, but it's candidates for local posts who are especially vulnerable targets by organized crime. 21 local public servants were murdered in 2017, which was also a record-breaking year for homicides in Mexico. The concern now is over the potential for yet another exceptionally violent year as we approach the 2018 general election. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera, Mexico City.